Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah. and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture, and today's video I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be using this, this transfer, this is called Etched Peonies. This is a size C transfer, that means it's a 12 by 18. And this is an Aiden frame. I had done this video on my Facebook group in a live video, and after I got done with it, I really like how it turned out, but I thought, oh, it would be nice if I filled this in and then just did the outline. So that's what I'm going to do with this video. Um, I'm going to paint this in with the chalk paste, and then I'm going to go back over this, and I'm going to uh, do an, like basically an outline with another color. Just to see how this looks. I, um, I'm curious to see. I have it pictured in my head, but I'm not sure if it's going to look the way um, I anticipate it to look. So... Uh, seeing that this is already done, I'm in the process of editing the video that I did for my Facebook Live, so as soon as I get that done, I will have that uh, posted on my YouTube channel here. So if you want to see that in the future, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. Now, I've uh, already done this in the white. Now, you could do your peony, any color that you choose to. Uh, my co-worker, she had cut some peonies flowers from my, uh, not mine, but from her garden and gave them to me. And uh, that's why I had done this transfer. And I thought, oh, I want to fill it in. I mean, I like how the outline is. I think that looks pretty sharp. Um, I think I probably would have liked to have done uh, the green a little bit brighter. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to fill it in. So I've got a couple paint brushes here. And I'm just going to use the chalk paste. And I've got a little jar of water. I'm going to get my brush wet, and I'm just going to go right in the paste. I'm not doing each individual petal. I just need to fill this in. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to paint this on. So I'm going to fast forward through this video while I paint this on and then um, paint my flowers and, and I'm going to also paint the, the stem and the leaves and paint those with the sage green. Now I will have an editable shopping cart link posted down below if you'd like to get this transfer any of these paste colors. Like I said, it's editable. You can choose whatever colors you would like. All right, so I'm going to fast forward through this and... Uh, when I'm done painting. This is, this is the first coat, and I need to give it a quick dry and apply a second coat to it. So I'm going to fast forward through that, and uh, I'll see you when I'm done. Feels like it's good and dry. I'm going to fuzz my transfer because I'm going to need to fuzz it a lot. I would say at least 15 20 times. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So this is a fuzzing cloth. If you're not familiar with that, um, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a towel, a t shirt, a sweatshirt, um, a piece of fabric, something that is going to take some of the stickiness off your transfer. These are reusable. Um, Chocolate states are reusable anywhere from uh, 8 to 12 times. 
So that's why I need to fuzz it and I'm putting it on a freshly painted area. So, um, so that way I don't run my transfer and peel, pull up any paint, hopefully. Um, I'm going to fuzz it. So, now what you do is you just peel it up. We do that, and that's the process. So, like I said, I um, once I get this uh, fuzzed, I'll come right back. Okay, now that I have gotten my transfer fuzzed, I'm going to try to line this up. Over where I've already previously previously put paste. That's going to be the tricky part, but even if it's a little off, I'm not too worried about it. And I'm just going to gently press my finger over it. All right, but before I do, I just want to make sure I'm not going to peel off any of my paste that I painted on there. I'm also feeling for any like little fuzzies. All right, I think that's on there pretty good. All right, I'm going to be using, now I use bright white, so I wanna use storm gray for the outline on the white, the white painting, and then where I painted that, I'm going to use uh, metal. I'm gonna be using metal as an outline. I was kinda of torn if I wanted to do metal or uh, pastel, whichever color. I mean, you can choose whatever colors you would like to use. So I'm going to do this in sections because I don't want my paste sitting on here too long before I can peel it up and reactivating where it pulls it up completely. So take my mini squeegee. I'm going to go into my paste. Just apply it on that area where I painted that flower white. Now if you want to do pink or some other color, you can do whatever colors you would like. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of um, what you can do with this transfer and give it a different look. Now I'm going to scrape off the excess here. Okay, got a little area there. Okay. That's my little plate. Now I'm going to peel that section up. Oh, I love how this looks so far. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. Okay. Now I'm just going to lay it back down. And I'm going to press those areas I have not put paste. Back down. All right. Now I'm going to go into my meadow. Just doing the outline here. My stem and my leaf. Oh, 
But yeah, I hope this gives you an, um, an idea and shows you also that you can just use a section of a transfer. You don't have, if you know you like these large ones, but you don't, uh, you don't have a surface for a large transfer. Maybe you just have the smaller, like the nine by 12. You can just use a portion of it. shouldn't have done this first. I'm just gonna have to move a little quicker then. All right, cut that on, scrape off the excess. And there we go. I'm gonna go back in my storm gray really quick. Get this bud. my excess and I'm going to peel it peel and reveal I love how that turned out wow I like both versions I really do I like it where it's just kind of the outline and then I do like it where you can fill it in I do. I enjoyed this. I, I and I love how this turned out. I hope you, you did also, and it shows you another idea that you can use with the the etched peony transfer. You can go ahead and fill it in and just use it as an outline also. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project, and you have a wonderful day.